Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Car Wrecker, and I'm coming at you with another video review. And today, I'll be reviewing the WWE Elite Collection Series 60 Triple H. Just picked this up last night at Walmart, and wow, am I impressed with this figure. I have to be honest, when Elite Series 60 was first announced, and I found out that Triple H was going to be in that series, I was like, ah, oh, man, another Elite Triple H? But as soon as I saw the pictures for this one, I was like, I was like, this figure is amazing as soon as i can get my hands on this figure I, i'm getting it so i went to walmart last night and they had one left picked it up immediately i mean i thought the elite series 42 looked freaking awesome and but this one just blows that one right out of the water anyways before we take over the figure let's take over the packaging first of course as always the infamous art display by artist rob schamberger sad there of course we got triple h back of course this picture there of course there's a stats and the bio you can pause it right there if you want to read it and the other figures in the series we got giant machine of course triple h elias which i already reviewed check that review out if you haven't seen it john cena kofi kingston and xavier woods uh giant machine i will be getting him as soon as i can find him uh, elias I already have him but i might get another one just to keep it in the box because i love this figure uh, John Cena, I'm definitely going to pick him up because uh, uh, I saw him last night at Walmart and he looked a pretty sweet looking figure. Uh, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods, definitely getting those two because not only are they great figures, but I'm a sucker for that, red, for that red, white, and blue color scheme and it just looks beautiful on those figures. So, can't wait to get those. So, expect reviews of all those figures coming soon. Except for Elias because I already reviewed him. Uh, check that review out if you haven't seen it. Anyway, so here's Triple H. And here's the uh, art display. As you see, there's part of his uh, um, <laughs> the uh, the actual uh, acoustic guitar for uh, Elias. So if I had the Elias uh, artwork with me, which I don't, it's uh, um, in my container. I can actually connect it together and actually create the full display. Anyway, set that off to the side real, real fast. And here's Triple H. Now this figure looks phenomenal. This figure, this figure turned out fantastic. And as I mentioned, the Elite Series 42, I thought that one looked freaking, uh, freaking awesome. But this one blows that one right out of the, right out of the water. Uh, his accessories, of course, he comes with a sledgehammer, because how can you have a Triple H figure that doesn't come with a sledgehammer? I mean, it's it's like Rick Martel not coming with his uh, arrogant spray can, or uh, the Mountie not coming with his uh, with his cattle prog shock uh, shock stick. Of course, he comes with a removable jacket. Which I have to say, this was a little difficult to get off, but let's see if I can do it again. It's very stiff. There we go. Hey, once you get over the shoulder, it's fine. Uh, the only problem is his waist is a little bit loose, but that's okay. Anyways, here's the, here's the jacket. Awesome. So if I'm not mistaken, this is from his match against Seth Rollins at WrestleMania last year, at WrestleMania 33. Which I thought was an awesome match. Anyways, here's Triple H with his gear on, and it looks awesome. Head scan, perfect. Looks just like him. My only complaint is the beard. I don't know, it's just the, um, maybe the color is a little bit off, and it looks a little bit too full. I don't know, what do you guys think? That same torso that we're used to, except the skin tone's off. I don't know if you can see that. This one's a little darker. This one's a little bit more pale. Like I said, his waist is extremely loose. I've never had that issue with a figure before. Of course, there's the tights with the logo. I actually really like this logo. It's a pretty sweet logo, but I but I prefer the uh, you know the classic Triple H logo. Okay, from the back, and then the boots as usual. Of course, as usual, they're very stiff. And just for the fun of it, here he is next to the Elite Series 42 uh, Triple H figure from WrestleMania 31, as I mentioned. I mean, I thought this figure was amazing, yeah, but this one blows it right out of the water. However, I think this head scan turned out better. I know it just looks more like him, and the, and the hair and the beard was done a little bit better. But obviously, this is how Triple H looks nowadays, but like I said, I think his beard's a little bit too dark, in my opinion. What do you guys think? And plus, I think it's a little bit too full. Anyways, awesome. Oh, and I have his entrance gear right here.
Awesome. And now since I, and since this is based on uh, WrestleMania 33 against Seth Rollins, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I, I know everybody wants to see it. Here's Triple H next to Seth Rollins from Elite Series 57. Yeah, I know he did not have the Intercontinental title at the time, but this is how I'm. Di uh, I actually have him displayed on my shelf uh, lately, or in my wrestling ring, because that's just how it is. It's, I usually have the current champions displayed in the middle of my ring. And that's the only recent Seth Rollins figures I, a figure I have. Where does he get the torch? Pretty cool, so you can recreate this match if you wanted to. Sweet. Anyways, that's all I have to say. There's not too much to say about this figure. It's an excellent figure. One of my favorite figures of, of the year so far. This figure is fantastic. So if you are a Triple H fan, if, and if you can find this figure at GameStop, Walmart, or whatever, or if you can get it on Ringside Collectibles or Amazon, whatever. If you can get this hands on, uh, on this figure, and if you're a Triple H fan, definitely pick this figure up. This is probably one of the must-have figures from Elite Series 60, in my opinion. This figure turned out great. I honestly have no complaints about it, aside from the skin tone and the loose waist. And the elbow pads were, were are a little bit difficult to uh, take off. When I first got this figure and took it out of the box, this elbow pad was actually on backwards, <laughs> believe it or not. And when I took it out of the box, the logo was actually right here, so it was on backwards. And it's made of that harder rubber that they used to use on the older figures when they first started back in 2010. Oh, I hate that rubber. The only time I really, really care about it is if I'm trying to bend the elbows and it hinders it. Anyway, that's about it. I'm going to give this figure a 9 out of 10. My only real complaint is, of course, the problems with the skin tone. You know, um, you know, this one's more pale. This one's a little bit darker. The loose waist and the color of the beard, and as well as it looks a little bit too full, in my opinion. But other, than, but other than those few small complaints, this is a fantastic Triple H figure. Definitely my favorite Triple H figure ever made. Anyways, that's all I have to say. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to check out the links in the description. Uh, there's links to my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Be sure to follow me on social media, and if you follow me, I will follow you back. You know, and send me a message once in a while. You know, we can chat and talk about wrestling. That's what I've been doing lately. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and also let me know in the comment section below what you think of this figure, and also what is your favorite Triple H figure? Me is probably this one and the Elite 42 and the Entrance Rates figure from a while back. Anyways. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Take care.